Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 27 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught Wednesday's episode, we were taking a look at Photoshop, specifically how to use gradients with layer masks. Today, I've got some quick tips related to Adobe Illustrator. Let's go ahead and bring up the screen. You can see on the screen in front of you that I've got two faces. Now, the character that's on the right, you might recognize as the logo for the show. It was brought to you by the Texas animator, Jay Shu. The face that's on the left is my rendition of said logo, and I make no claims to be an artist. But what I want you to see is if I dissect the face that Jay drew, it's actually made up of several different paths that he overlapped and combined together. If you take a look at the outline for this drawing, you can see that the face that I drew is much simpler, right? Less paths, less overlapping uh, strokes and various shapes. It's just a simple outline of a face. But if we get back to the preview mode, notice how on the surface they do look quite similar. So what I want you to see today is the new width tool. I'm going to show you how you can vary the width along a single path so that you can get some nice variations in your shapes. Let's take a look at how it's done. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and reset the face that I drew. So I'm going to put it back to a uniform width and uniform stroke. Over on the left is the width tool, which is Shift W for the keyboard shortcut. And if I take this across the surface of the image, you can see when I hover over an existing path, I get a little width point. And if I press and hold my mouth and drag, press and hold my mouse rather, you can see that it increases the width of that stroke on either side of the path. And in fact, if I take that tool, I can put it and pull out the stroke. Now what's interesting is if I just want to vary the stroke on one side, I can hold the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac. So if I hold the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac, I can just vary the stroke on one side of that particular path. So here I'll just go make a quick change. Right, you can see here that I can create the beard just by pulling on that stroke and making it a little thicker. I can go ahead and make the smile a little wider. Again, I'm just pulling right from the path itself with the width tool and it starts to give me a nice shape to that face. Look at how that's turning out. All right, I'm starting to see some character there. I can actually go and use this on the uh, skull. So I'll go here and if I drag again, just pulling with the width tool, now I can create the hairline. And if I want to vary certain areas, I would just simply go in and push those together. I can do that over here, push those together. And if I want to start kind of shaping hey, the crown, I can just hold the Alt key to pull one side only of the hairline. So just the uh, Alt key or Option key on the Mac to pull one side. And then I can actually pump the hair up here on the top. So there's a little bit. Hey, and here it is on the other side. So this actually is a really nice tool. It lets you kind of go in and I can kind of shape the stroke and here I am actually just dynamically creating a, a new drawing just out of those outlines. I can come in here and drag, make the eyebrows. And if I want to just make everything else uniform, I can go back to my selection tool. I can click these pieces because I want them to be uniform. And I'll just set those to be, oh, we'll just do maybe eight point. And if I click away, you can see there is the variable width tool. It's Shift W is the keyboard shortcut. It lets you take existing outlines and paths, give them varied strokes. So now you've got some character. So if you appreciate the tutorial, as always, please give me a thumbs up.
Hey, appreciate you subscribing to this YouTube channel. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, giving you tutorials on Lightroom, Photoshop, the entire creative suite. We've got some great photography tutorials coming your way. If you want to leave questions or get your video questions answered, leave me responses on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, hey, or you can leave comments here on the YouTube channel. So, happy Friday, guys. I will see you next week on Monday.